Hello everyone, this is Zook and today I'm bringing you a new painting video. This one is going to be a favor I did for a friend who asked me to come up with four bioweapon or organic weapon concepts for some sort of project of his, which I'm not particularly interested in, nor do I need to be. But I took it upon myself to do this chunk of pro bono work and view it as practice because I definitely need plenty of it. And uh, it's something with a purpose. So when I'm working on something that I know will get used by someone or will be useful to someone, I tend to put a lot more time, effort, and energy into it as opposed to when I'm doing scribbles for myself that will never be utilized for any purpose. So that's, I read about it, it's basic psychology, it's it's how it works in a, in a standard workplace as well. But anyway, the requirements that these four weapons had were that they were supposed to form some sort of symbiosis with the hand that holds them, uh, attaching themselves to the hand or attaching the hand to them, and enhancing it in some way, so some sort of armor plating or, um, I guess, tentacles wrapping around it, spikes, you know, just organic looking bio sort of enhancements, kind of like infested Zerg, basically. So I wanted to go with something kind of basic because these are just drafts, like they weren't supposed to be illustrations, they were just supposed to be basic concepts. But uh, yeah, I mean, I, I have my own style, which I can't really go around at this point so these are much too complex for just concept pieces they could be qualified as illustrations but they're not complex enough to be used as illustrations so it's kind of like a middle ground sort of confusing place that i'm at right now with with digital painting but i did put a lot of effort into them i mean i streamed these uh like a week ago and after i was done with all of it the entire project i was like no fuck that I deleted everything and started from scratch, which is what you're seeing right now. So I've been I've been trying to do this a lot lately with my work. Uh, I've, I've noticed I maybe let myself get away with a lot of um, laziness, I guess, in what I do. And so I'm trying to change all that. And if I have to do the same thing five times in a row until I'm somewhat satisfied with it, because, I mean, this isn't nearly as good as it could be, but it's more decent than it was before. Uh, so I'm looking for progression here in any sort of area. So yeah, I started from scratch and uh, I think I'm done now. I'm, I'm not going to delete these anymore. I think I've had quite enough of this by now. So anyway, uh, the four weapons are an axe, which you just saw me finish there. Uh, some sort of long range launcher or rifle, which is always a bit more complex to put into organic form, but I think I managed to do a half decent job at it. The third one will be some sort of close range melee weapon and the fourth one is a wizard staff which is quite an interesting uh, requirement because wizard wizard anything in general is kind of like in the realm of fantasy but a different kind of fantasy than what we're seeing here it's it's magical right it's supposed to launch some sort of fire or lightning or just really fantastical stuff and these bio weapons are more more aimed at either ripping apart someone with claws and stuff like that, or maybe launching uh, like venom like the Zerg do, or some sort of acid kind of thing. But the wizard staff seems a bit out of place as being a little too magical to combine with the notion of organic weapon. So the launcher, as you can see there, has a bunch of uh, alien looking fingers coming out of it, which uh, are attaching like successive plates in some sort of pattern on the hand that holds the weapon and uh, attaching themselves permanently, possibly, to it or not. Another requirement that these weapons had were that I was supposed to put eight blobs on them, which would signify some sort of progression or upgrade or something like that. I didn't quite understand the point of them. But the guy said, make sure they have eight pustules or eight blobs on them. So that is what I did. Who am I to question the ways of, of the genius? Uh, the third weapon here is... Well, a claw, pretty much. A three-pronged claw. And I wanted to get a bit interesting with this one because I tend to paint everything in, in kind of the same color range. And uh, it's... I mean, I, I think I do it just instinctively. But after I'm done, I look at it and it just seems dull. That's one of the problems I still have with this whole thing. That I'm just not using enough colors by instinct. Of course, you can't go nuts here because if you take any sort of painting and look at kind of like a creature or thing that's made out of one piece there's not going to be that many colors but it's generally more than what i usually use so for this one i wanted to get cute and i wanted to make the uh the claw kind of orangish red reddish orange 
and then fade it into a desaturated, very desaturated red and add just more color spots into it just to make it not as flat and dull as, as I usually do. So I'm definitely trying to get out of my comfort zone with this stuff and, and try and be a bit more bold with it. And I think it's working out, but of course you can never tell when when you're there yet for uh, it's too way too subjective to notice on myself like if i look at someone else's work i can tell yeah it's shit you did this and that wrong but when i look at mine it's of course some things are obviously bad but not as bad as when i when i see someone else's in any case so yeah it's a slow process but i think it's working quite well so far so right now i'm on the wizard staff which um I wanted to go with a different color for, but then I scratched that idea because I had no particular reason for it. It just didn't work out, this purple, crazy purple color. So I went with the same color range that I was using before, but uh, this one looks a bit more woody than than fleshy as opposed to the other ones. But that's fine, I think. Uh, it's still a lot of shapes that don't occur naturally in, in nature or forest, so I guess it would be... Uh, quite clear that it was very purposeful kind of wrapping and shaping of the thing. So it does look organic, plus the spikes and the claws coming out of it would also enforce that idea. Uh, one way to look to make things look organic is to give them like a very sharp white highlight, which makes it look like flesh, like slimy sort of flesh. So that detracts a bit from the idea uh, that this this is made of wood. But again, I'm having a bit of an issue here with the color range. I think I could have done a bit better with the use of desaturated colors as opposed to just making everything kind of on the same on the same level and the same color. I don't know what it's called. The same curve kind of thing. It's it's basically a curve when you paint an object. It's like it goes from a saturated shadow to a more saturated midtone and a desaturated highlight. Highlight. So it's like basically a, an inverted c curve from what i noticed and it it becomes a bit difficult to remember sometimes how to use that and to change the colors in the process as well and not just stick to the same kind of brownish desaturated brownish range so <clears throat> what i'm adding there to signify that this is indeed magical is some sort of blue orb just to uh, pop out of there in contrast with the rest of the brown and kind of the the boring color scheme that I chose there, but um, yeah, I think it it works out quite well. I'm trying to emulate the Hearthstone artwork style of painting as much as I can. Um, that's been a quite a good inspiration in doing this because the the way that the, that particular artist paints, her name is Laurel Austin, I think, or Lauren Austin, some Laurel, I believe. Uh, it's a very messy style, but it looks very well thought out. Like the colors are exactly what they're supposed to be. And you don't need to be that careful with it to make it look good. So anyway, these are going to be the four weapons that I came up with. Something quite uh, easy and simple. And uh, the guy liked them, so I guess my job is done here. But please rate that shit if you enjoyed it. And catch my stream today, which is going to happen around 6 or 7 p.m. Central European time. And thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye-bye.